What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own outro in Photoshop. Uh, now this is just a simple still image that you can save in Photoshop and then um, drag images of thumbnails and stuff to put at the end of your videos and all that good stuff. So this is what I'm going to be essentially showing you today. Um, also like another version with just one uh, box for video, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So let me just take this off the screen and we're going to go ahead and open a new file in Photoshop. Now you can either do what I'm doing, which is a 720 P like size, uh, 1280 by 720, or you can do the 1920 by 1080, which would be 1080 P. Um, but since this is just, just a tutorial and I'm trying to not use a lot of space, I'm going to do the smaller one and open that guy up. Uh, I'm just going to click on the lock and I'm going to hit command I to inverse so it's a black background. So this is what we start off with. Um, one thing I'm going to be using is my in, uh, insane pack which is in my store. Uh, it's like seven dollars maybe some some around there. Um, but I'm going to be using a few things from that and you can buy that if you want. I'll put the link in the description or you can just use other images off like Google or whatever. So the first thing, I'm going to go to this pack and I'm just going to get a pattern. Um, so I believe I use this pattern, yeah, Mar. I'm going to drag that into my document. As you can see, it's like a subtle, it's kind of like a liquidy looking pattern. And I'm just going to Command T and um, size that up a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate it and drag it down and this is a seamless pattern so as long as you line up the edges everything will be good um, you could probably just go on the internet and google seamless patterns and there's websites with these you can find a bunch of different uh, and various ones now what I'm gonna do is hit command I to inverse it to be darker because um, I like a darker outro kind of layout and then I'm gonna go ahead and get a solid color and I'm going to select red, click OK, and I'm going to set it to overlay. And then, as you can see, it's still pretty dark. If you want a little more color, you can just duplicate that one time. And then, if that's too saturated, you can just bring down the opacity. So I'm just going to go in like 45, somewhere around there. That works. Um, and then, let's, I'm going to go back to my pack and get a, another uh, image. Uh, I'm not sure where that's at. Is it here? Yeah, okay. So it's called Lines on Lines. Uh, I think this is just straight off the internet. So you could probably find this or something like it um, online. And since this is as red as the stock goes, I'm just going to decrease the opacity of it. Um, it'll give it a little bit of a pink look to it, but that's fine. We'll just roll with that. And yeah, so that's essentially our background for now. It's a little dull, but... Uh, it'll become more colorized towards the end. Um, the next thing we're going to do is kind of set up the boxes where we want them. So I'm just going to go to the bottommost layer, which is the black background, duplicate it, and bring it to the top, and then just size it down. So like somewhere here. And I'm going to, depending on how many you want, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with two first, and then I'll just show you a modified uh, one square. I'm going to bring this one over here duplicate it, bring it over to the other side, and then let's go ahead and bring our rulers out. So if you don't have rulers, you want to command R, bring them out, and there should be a spot where um, in the middle where the ruler will just click into place, and that'll be the direct middle. So if you select both these layers then, and command T to transform it, you can center these like that, and then command H to hide that, uh, the ruler. I'm just going to go ahead and merge the, this, uh, these layers and just call them the boxes. And now let's double click on that and get a little effect on it. So the one I like to use is actually, yeah, stroke. Yeah. So you want to go to stroke. Uh, it's actually the only thing I use on this uh, because you should be putting an image over this. But if you're not, you could just put text or something in there. But um, I do a the color I'm using, so in this case red, to black. 
or you could go and select this one which is foreground to transparent and I'll just go from red to transparent uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that and you can have it go from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top um, doesn't matter really um, I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top however uh, so my colors on the bottom and you could also add a drop shadow if you'd like um, that usually looks pretty good so I'd recommend doing that if you'd like uh, in this case I'm not going to um, so that that's good for me right there and we're gonna create a new layer and let's go ahead and get the rectangle tool and select the color of that stroke so in this case red and I'm gonna zoom in here to the bottom left of this uh, box and I'm just gonna create a little rectangle like this and now we want to line up the, the edges so right there it's like a perfect edge and I'm gonna right click on the layer um, rasterize it and then let's transform it hold command click the top corner make sure the arrow is white hold shift and drag it over you can do this to any corner you'd like I'm just doing it to the top one and let's zoom out let's duplicate that uh, Command T, right click, flip horizontal, hit enter, and then drag it over to the other side. And you can just use the arrow keys to line that up. There you go. Now this, everything here is a little low, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it all and just bring it up a tad. So that, that could work, maybe a little lower. All right. Now we want something to take up the header. So if you have a logo, you could use that. Um, I'm just gonna do it with normal text. So I'm just gonna get white. Let's bring up the rulers again. And let's click somewhere in the middle. So about right there. I'm gonna put caps lock on and just put your outro. And when I was making this, I didn't change the font. I just let it on the font that was up, which was this True Lies. And it's actually not a bad font. Um, so I'm just gonna use it again. Uh, it's pretty good for like a header type deal, like top of the page. It's really attractive. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to select uh, just the outro and make that red just so there's a little bit of difference going on here. <clears throat> and then you can see this is like a really excruciatingly bright red. So I'm going to double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay. And instead of putting it on overlay, I'm just going to keep it on normal and I put the opacity on 21 and it's just a black to white uh, gradient nothing special I'm gonna click OK and you can adjust the size of that if you want it bigger and more kind of uh, outrageous you can do that uh, which is what uh, I usually do and then you can put a little subtext below so I'm gonna pull up the ruler again and it's got the text tool and let's line that up in the center there and let's say thanks for watching uh, enter be sure to check out my other videos um, and we're not gonna go with the true lies font this time I'm gonna go with a cleaner font so there's a few that I use uh, let's check out Avenir we'll go let's try Avenir next bold and we're gonna bump down the size to 15 that that could work yeah there we go and so we just got a little subtext there you could probably just decrease the opacity if you don't want it too white um, something like that um, or you could just leave it white whatever works I'm gonna leave it white for now I might change it later on um, let's get the text tool again and let's go down to these little boxes we created and you can label these however you want. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to put recent video. Oh. Recent video. And let's size this up a little bit. Something like that. You don't want it to be too big because then it's going to look a little odd. Um, and just go ahead and duplicate that. Hold shift, bring it over. And just say whatever else you'd want so I'm gonna do random video there you go and you could like I said you could put whatever you want in there 
All right, now let's go ahead and do some of like the social media stuff that you'd want them to check out. So there's so many ways you could go about doing this. Um, my favorite is just using text because it's the easiest. You don't have to bring logos in. It's an easy fix if you want to switch um, to like a different social media. Like if you have Instagram on here when you create it and you're like, hey, I'm not really using Instagram, but I want to put my Twitch. Uh, all, all you need to do is go in there and change the text rather than change the logos and all that. So I'm just gonna bring up the guides again to put one centered. And we're just gonna put Twitter. And we're gonna make this fairly big. So um, maybe like 35. Yeah, that'll work. And we're also gonna make the color red. Now, if you notice, I'm using like fully saturated red, but I'm gonna be uh, dimming everything down at some point um, so if you're planning on not doing that, um, you might want to have to like pick a lower saturation color. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that later on. So let's duplicate this and bring it over to the left again, over to the right. And let's change this one to Facebook. And this one to uh, Instagram. Now I could probably space these out a little more. Maybe make their size a little less. They are pretty big, but um, just for the sake of it, we're gonna roll with this. Um, and let's duplicate the Twitter one. Drag it down. Double click on that box. And let's make the size 20, maybe, maybe 20. We'll do 25 um, and then this is where you put the name of your Twitter so you could do at and then your username I'm just gonna do a slash oops, slash your name and we're gonna make this white or you could do a, like a gray but I'll keep it white and then can duplicate it again and put all your social medias here and then what I was saying earlier is if you want to switch one, say you don't want Instagram anymore, all you need to do is come in here, change it to Twitch, and then you're good to go. Um, and rather than using logos and all that jazz, this is just a little bit easier. Um, now we're going to also add the little bit of a gradient. So from the your outro part, the main text. So we're just going to click on that layer and copy it, copy the layer style. And we'll select all these right click paste layer style and I'll just put them on all those let's hide that guide and there we go we could uh, probably bring that down a little further it's a little high so something like that you could also put um, a subscribe button in there and then uh, when you put this in your videos you can annotate them to make it able to be clicked on which is what you probably should do if you're using one of these um, but it's not necessarily uh, needed per se all right so one thing I did when I was making this layout, um, I really didn't like these recent video and random video texts, like the white on the bright red, just didn't really like it. And I wanted this red to be brighter than all the others. So to what I did to change that, and this is not necessarily a needed step, but it's just what I did as a preference. Uh, I pressed command and clicked on uh, random video, that text. And then I went down to the box that correlates with it, so the right box press delete and then I did the same thing with the other side so recent video and delete then command D to deselect and if you just hide those text layers just make some black um, but it's really just the background you could just make the text black but I like it to kinda go with the ba background but you can't really see it uh, it's a little bit of a too small of a space but that's what I like to do don't have to do it you can just keep it simple because if you want to change that text now it's a little difficult um, not really difficult but it just takes a little little more time I'm trying to save time and yeah so now let's go put everything here in a group just so it's easier to work with like a little bit of a color correction and stuff like that I'm just gonna title this um, outro and we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna get a brush and we're gonna select the red again and let me 
get off cops lock and I'm just gonna have a soft brush at 600 pixels if you're using the 1080p you're probably gonna need a bigger brush and we're just gonna kind of click around here and hopefully add a little bit of color so if we set this to screen and just decrease the opacity it's just a little little more red and now if we click the group again then do hue and saturation we can uh, oh, it's already up. We can decrease the saturation just slightly, just so everything's not too powerful. Unless you want it like that, of course you can. Um, and we'll leave it like that. Let's click on the top layer. Um, so I leave these red bits uh, at full redness, I guess, full saturation. Because if you bring them down, it's just a little odd, you can see. Um, so keep it above. And then you can. Uh, Add like a little bit of a color correction, do whatever you'd like, um, maybe add some brightness and contrast, you know what I mean, maybe make it a little brighter, stuff like that, you can play around with it, I usually leave it pretty simple because it's not, it's just an outro, um, it's nothing that really needs to have too much of a color correction, anything like that, but at the very top you want to get another hue and saturation and this will allow you to just play with the colors if you want to mix it up, um, as you can see you can just select any color. Um, and it will look pretty good. All these colors look pretty nice. Now if you only want one sort of window, one video up here, um, what you can do, um, I'm actually going to have to delete one half, so let me just select this, delete it, um, and let's get rid of that box. Alright, so you'd have this window here. You might not need that how it is. You could center it or do something else with it. But really the only thing you change is have this box on the left side, maybe make it a little bigger. And what you'd want to do is change uh, just the social media. So you kind of want to line them up all to the right side. So take this one, plop it over there. Um, which one is these two guys? Like that. And the last guys. Boom. And then you can probably make them a little bigger now since there's more space. Like that. And then obviously you'd make this window a little bit bigger. And that's really how you'd want to do it with one window. Of course, um, you could do it other ways, switch sides, do whatever. That's kind of the gist though. Um, but yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll be sure to put this PSD in the description. But other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Quezzy. Subscribe for more videos. I put out tutorials at least once a week, maybe even more. Uh, add my Snapchat, which is Quezzy, for updates on things I'm working, out, working on coming out with, and all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.